Ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about Jason Blundell and Deviation Games as a massive plot twist has just been announced by the studio and it's that Jason Blundell has left Deviation Games. This man left Treyarch in 2020 to form his own game studio, Deviation Games, out of absolutely nowhere today. It was just announced on their social media that Jason has left the studio. They've not even announced what game they're creating and we've all been under the impression that Jason is working on a game that he's been always wanting to create without the limitations of Activision and Treyarch. But now he's no longer part of that. They've released a statement so let's read it together. Deviation Games is announcing that Jason Blundell has left the studio. We appreciate the contribution Jason has made and we wish him the best in his future endeavours. Deviation will continue to be led by CEO Dave Anthony, who also assumed the role of game director this past year and remains a guiding force as we look ahead. If you don't know who Dave Anthony is, he's one of the masterminds behind the Black Ops 1 campaign, as well as the Black Ops 1 zombie storyline, as well as the Black Ops 2 campaign. So whilst Jason's departure is a shocking one and a really questionable one as to how things are going to go forward and what exactly has been going on at the studio rest assured that there is still a absolute legend of black ops still working on this game and is now the ceo and role of game director jason was the chief commercial officer and i would imagine he was also game director but obviously not anymore very excited to announce that louis castle has joined deviation games a senior vice president of development a video game industry veteran with two lifetime achievement awards who's best known for creating the legendary command and conquer franchise which is massive and he's joined by an incredible roster of industry veterans who recently joined the studio including god of war jonathan hawkins and dean reimer and call of duty black ops guru tony flame and if you guys don't know who tony flame is he is the legend that has been behind multiplayer for world at war black ops 1 2 3 4 cold war him leaving Treyarch a month or so ago was a huge announcement and a massive, massive departure for the Treyarch studio. So there's still massive talent at the studio and they make sure that you realize this in the final bits of their statement saying this plethora of talent makes Deviation uniquely equipped to continue leading the ever-evolving games industry into the future, including with the continued development of our previously announced groundbreaking AAA original IP, which we still don't know anything about. Now, with this massive news that he's left Deviation Games, the real question to ask is, well, what on earth could he be doing next? And I think the first thing that people will draw to, the first major thing that they might think, hang on, could this be a thing that he could be doing this? Is that he could be rejoining Treyarch. Who knows? He might have been offered like a ridiculously crazy offer of him to rejoin Treyarch. And I feel in some instances, when it comes to particularly the success of zombies, he really is a credit to the success of Black Ops 3 Zombies and, and Black Ops 2, and also just the Black Ops games in general. Like he directed those and, you know, under his direction, the games were received really, really well. Of course, there were some parts that didn't work really well. And I mean, the development of Black Ops 4, now that there's been a lot more that's been revealed about that over the past few years, has shown that maybe sometimes his direction hasn't always worked. There's definitely been times where it's clear that when he's been working as director on these games, they've been really, really successful. But at the same time, I feel he worked at Treyarch for 15 plus years and he left for a reason. And I feel like it's really unlikely that he will be given back that position or it'll be offered back to him. Like, I don't know how this stuff works. I don't think any of us know how this stuff works. But another thing is he genuinely might have just chosen to quit because he doesn't want to be involved in games development for the time being. He might want to take a massive break. Like, we just don't know. But it is still a really weird situation regardless. I think in an ideal world, if we heard the news one day in the next few months that Jason has joined Treyarch again, I think that everyone would lose their marbles over that news. It'd be absolutely insane. But I think realistically, we just should not expect that to be a thing because it's just so unlikely and unrealistic. But I genuinely don't know what he could be doing next. And I don't know if we will find out. He's such a private guy. He doesn't really have social media, doesn't really post about anything. But the main thing which I feel is a bit of an issue now for Deviation Games is that because Jason Blundell was no longer at the studio, he's no longer tied to this project, that suddenly the public perception and the care and attention that there has been towards it it's going to be a lot less because people see Jason Blundell's tied to X project. I'm going to be interested in X project. And now that he's not, there's no reason to care, am I right? But I think we got to remember and can't forget that the amount of talent that's at that studio that have come from Treyarch, 
should not be understated or forgotten about, especially with Tony Flame in the last month or so. That is absolutely huge from a multiplayer perspective. But I don't disagree on the fact that it is going to be a little bit of an issue for Deviation Games, especially the fact that they've not yet announced what the game is. And from all we've seen from Jason talking about Deviation so far, it seemed he was really passionate about this. And we don't even know what the heck it is. And now he's no longer working on it. So it's just a really puzzling situation. But I'd love to know what you guys think of this all in the comment section down below. It is kind of crazy to think that Jason Blundell left Treyarch and then we heard the rumblings of Deviation Games. It was announced and literally ever since that was announced, the Zombies community has been anxiously awaiting with bated breath for a single bit of news about what their game is going to be. And now that we've heard nothing for a year and he just gets up and leaves, it's a bit of a weird one. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. But thank you for watching, guys. Support the video with some thumbs up if you'd like. And I'll keep you posted if we learn anything new.